Hey y'all, Steve, Hobo with Wood. We're in the shop today and I'm generating a lot of stuff I'm planning for my first ever craft show. And man, is that a lot of work. And that's the majority of reason I had never planned to do craft shows. And this is my first one, so I have no inventory to speak of. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, so today I was in uh, Dollar Tree picking up some inexpensive items that I can upsell, upfit, and resell, uh, adding my own designs and creations to something relatively inexpensive and adding more value to it. It's a easy way to generate some uh, really nice products. And while I was there, I looked uh, and seen, but they got some, some stuff in there. It's uh, neat designs, but boy, is it cheaply made. And it has to be because you can buy it for a dollar and 25 and $2. Uh, but I seen this design right here, and I looked at it, and I said, I can do that. I can't do that that cheap, but I can do that, and it'd be a lot better. So... When I look at that image, I see um, one, two, three, three rectangles. Do you see three rectangles? I thought that's all there is is three rectangles. And but but it's done in a way that that looks really nice. And if you don't have, and I'm I'm too cheap to buy all these uh, software bundles out there that have all these. Uh, fonts and borders and frames. So if I see something like that and I, I can do that, well, I go back and figure it out. So let's show you just how easy it is to make something that that simple and make it really easy and add some character to your project. So let's jump in here to Lightburn. Uh, so right now I'm in the shop and I hope you can hear me fine because I've got lasers going, cooling fans going. Uh, but I'm trying to speak louder and hopefully the fans aren't drowning me out. But I've got things on my work bed, so we're working off the work bed right now. Uh, and I'm going to, I said, I said a minute ago that that image uh, was three rectangles, is all there was. And uh, I'm, I've got it pulled up on my phone here so I can glance at it. So if you see me looking over, that's all I'm doing. I'm not. I'm not getting instructions from nobody. It just seems what, what's what. All right, so uh, first rectangle, and we're going to put this in a line mode. Uh, that's actually a toolpath. Uh, the next rectangle, and I'm just doing this by eyeball. And... The third rectangle. Oh. All right, so everything's now centered up on each other. Now, all we got to do is my favorite thing. We're going to cut some corners. You select your first one here, your radius tool, and right now, that's probably not nearly big enough. Uh, no, it's not. So can we increase that? No. So undo that. Right now, in fact, I've used radius tool several times in the past, but if you've never seen the videos, and you're not familiar with the radius tool, let's let's work with some even numbers here. So, we'll, all right, right now, this is showing that the height of this rectangle is uh, 1.24, uh, just to get the this these angles and radius right, and so I can do simple math, because I'm a simple person. Uh, let's take this to a four inch in, uh, height, keeping our aspect ratio locked. So four inches. And zoom out where we can see that real good. All right, now, from the top of this corner to 
the bottom of this corner, that's four inches. So if we come to this radius tool and I tell it here, 1.0, that's one inch because I'm working here in inches. And a one inch radius is going to come an inch this way and an inch that way. And that's really not enough on a four inch piece. So, you know what, let's do, uh, let's just do, make that two inches. Uh, and I, don't, I don't know if we can do a full one inch on a two inch piece. Yep, there we go. So if you notice there, take that one back. You see there, that's exactly one half of that height, which we made two inches. So you start at one and it comes down one and it comes over one, it's one inch. So if you was to tell this 0.5, it'd only be a half inch radius. But there we go, we got those down to, uh, to where it, it is exactly half of the height it gives us the radius so it's a nice look for me there and now what I want to do is I want to take this back down to the original aspect ratio I had holding my control and shift um, I'll bring her down to about like that let's see what that does for us all right I think I'm liking that all right now this one the outer rectangle there um, it's um, about two inches in height. Uh, we don't want to, let's just do a, a, a half inch. Let's do a half inch radius. So with that selected, we're gonna select radius and I'm gonna tell it a half inch, not that, a half inch tab, and then there, and there, and there, and there. Okay, and now uh, up here. Now, I've been giving it radiuses, and in fact, just to show you here, we're going to uh, drag it from the right to the left, grab those first two, and hit our magic weld button. Look there. Okay, now, uh, this one, the middle one, it actually comes to a point instead of having the rounded corners or the lack of corners. So how do we do that? Still using the radius tool. So let's take a look here at our shape properties. Now, if you're not familiar with your shape properties, which I have talked about, and we're gonna make this bigger. Uh, if we select just that rectangle, you can right click and show properties is one way to get there. Or you can come up here to your window and shape properties. Shape properties is where you edit your shape and show properties is where you get to your shape properties tab to do the edit. Okay, yeah, it's kind of screwy. But they essentially get you to the same place and that same place I have already opened here in my shape properties on my menus tab over here. So <clears throat> when I go here, it shows me the height and width, which we know because it's up here, but also our, this is where you can put in a corner ra corner radius. Now, this is another way to use radius tool when you're not sure about what size you, radius you want. Well, you can just start typing in numbers here and let's say if we did a 0.25, uh, oh, come on now, 0.25, enter. There you go. There's, there's your quarter inch radius. We don't want quarter inch radius or half inch radius or any kind of radius. So let's put this back to zero, enter. What we want is we want that to come to a point. Now to bring that to a point, instead of doing a radius here, we need to come in here and do an inner radius. And to do that, that's a negative. That's why you've got these arrows over here where you've got up and down. Well, you come here, click your down button. Look at there. Ah! <laughs> I'm having fun today, guys. There is your points. And in fact, that position actually looks really good. 
So just drag him from the right. I hate my mouse. There we go. Drag him from the right and hit the weld button. Boom. That, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Now, that was easy and that was quick. One thing they also have in here that gives it some character, because uh, this is actually the toolpath, and if we we're going to cut this out, we'd end up, uh, most everybody ends up put that on the red layer and layer two. So you'd select that, that, put it on layer two, and now she's on a cut path and ready to cut out. But we want to give it some detail. So come in here uh, and go to your offset tool, and that 0.08 looks pretty decent. Uh, actually, I want to get a little bit more point right there, so let's let's do less offset. What about a 0.06? There we go. Now, that was inward, and I got it on corners because I want that sharp corner down there because if I go round, uh, it doesn't have as nice and as sharp of, of the an angle there. So corners, okay. That just gives us one line. Let's do this again, offset, and make this one half that, 0.03. Okay. And now we want to select just those two. Uh, so dragging from the right, coming up just enough to get those two lines in there. And there we got it. And we're going to put that on uh, what would have been a fill layer. Okay. So now you've got your cutout. You've got a nice little border fill around, and now you have a nice little frame to create and do your edits and artwork. And that was easy. Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming, but when I was editing this video, I realized there was a little more tweaking that needed to be done, and it could be done with one simple move to change the way this thing looks and make it that much better and that much closer to the design I seen in the store. So check this out. So this is where we just left off, kind of, sort of. But anyway, I got to looking at the original image, which is right there. And uh, I uh, I realized it it wasn't straight across right here. It come up and then dip down and then back up. So this straight lines, they need to go away. And that's really easy. So all we have to do is go back into the uh, select it. Go back into the node editing. And we're going to come over here to this node right here at the bottom of that radius, and we're going to hit the letter S, as in Steve. No, as in smooth. All right, so letter S, and boom, chakalaga, it's done. Done, done, and done. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, that looks a whole lot better. And if you feel like that's too much of a curve for you, let's show you how that works. This, if on here's your node, the round dot is your node. And these tangents that come off of it are the curve created. So if that's too much of a curve for you, you can come down here to the end of this uh, little tangent off that node, you can click on it and then just start dragging it around to change the curvature. If you'll do something crazy, bring it in here like this, do them both that way, and now she looks uh, more like uh, something you would see from the Mid East with a little little temple. So. Undo, undo, there we go. Now, uh, now that I've got that, that's the way I want it to look. Now we'll put our offsets back in there. So that's selected. Uh, do our my offset and 
given the size I'm working with here, the 06 and the 03 is what looks best for me. What works best for you is what you think. Now, doesn't that look a lot better? So now, again, we apologize for that interruption, and now let's join our regularly scheduled programming. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, but not in this video, because half of you already checked out. <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody just subscribed. I take that back. So the, uh, the glare on the windows, but there we go. The banner, the Harvest Blessings banner, again, I don't own any fonts, tools, or artwork that I don't create. Uh, I buy very little. I try to create my own. I'm going to make that banner in the next how-to and uh, show you that it's actually quite simple, stupid simple. So, if you're still watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet, that was a smack in the back of the head. Hit that subscribe button. You know you should have already done it by now. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications for, for uh, notifications of future videos. If you see something that I'm doing completely asinine and wrong or you know a shortcut, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. And if you find these helpful uh, or if you have any questions, hit me up. Let me know. And give me a shout out, a thank you. Uh, all these things help me with the Google, the, the Google YouTube analytics. Uh, and I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate your subscriptions. And you want to watch that video on how to make the twisted, uh, twisted banner. Oh, and it just don't know me. That's how you can make the waving flag. Hey, I just thought of something else. We'll see you in the next video. This is Steve. I'm out.